Hello lovely friends, today we are going to hit two areas in my house that really need decluttering. I have a media cabinet that is rammed full of who knows what. It's got to the point where DVDs have started stacking up around the cabinet. Yes, my husband is old school and loves his DVDs. The other area is my Monica cupboard. You've heard me reference this cupboard in many videos over the past few weeks. Well, I thought I'd give you a treat and show you my dirty secrets. For those of you who have no idea what a Monica cupboard is, it's a scene from the sitcom show Friends where Monica has a closet crammed with stuff and she's hiding it from her friends. I bet we can all relate and I'm sure all of us have an area we hide the clutter. Well, this is one of mine. Before I start explaining, well, okay, justifying how or why I got myself into this mess, I just wanted to say, hi, welcome back, guys, and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, and you are watching my channel for Cleaning Out Loud. I am married to my husband of nearly 15 years. I have three boys, nearly 10, nearly 13, and a 14-year-old. We live in the south of England. And thank you for choosing myself to spend some time with today. So all that being said, let's get started. Decluttering. What is decluttering? It's simplifying your life by letting go of items you no longer need. Decluttering is not about getting rid of everything. It's letting go of the things you no longer use or need so that what you're left with serves a purpose. If you find the thought of decluttering overwhelming, set yourself a timer. Let's say 10 minutes and more often what you'll notice is once that alarm has gone off, you'll want to continue on and finish the task. Or if you're feeling brave, start in the area or room that is in the most need of decluttering. I know it sounds crazy. Who wants to start the biggest job first, huh? Well, it's the room that will have the biggest impact once you're done. It's the room that will motivate you to continue with the rest of your house. One tip that I like and use is to create piles. So have three piles, keep, donate and bin. You could add a cell pile. Personally, I don't make a cell pile anymore because I never, in all the times I've decluttered, actually sold the intended pile and it's ended up either being donated or sneaked its way back into the house.
So my high and low point to the week. I'm going to start with my low point. Those of you who have high school age kids will know that feeling in the pit of your stomach when your phone rings with the dreaded school office flashing up on your phone. Well, thankfully it's been a while. These phone calls are almost never a positive reason and when you free very strong-willed sassy boys sometimes I'm on speed dial. Now I'd love to share with you all the details but please no nothing was serious however this is their personal business and I'm not going to out them on a huge platform. Let's just say lessons were learned and punishments were given The reason I'm even sharing this is because there may be a mum or dad really struggling with school anxiety. I just want you to know 100% I get it. I feel you and you've got this. Parenting is bloody hard. High point to the week is my street has quite a few mums and dads who like to hang out the front while the kids are playing. This is such a good time to swap the horror stories of the week and get advice. I love these moments. I love talking to an actual adult. It's refreshing and for me it resets my mood, gives me the motivation to go home and actually parent. Oh, my other high is the scaffolding's finally down and I have my garden back. Diving deep into the waves, babe I know that you want it to It's a risk worth taking Even if it's over soon Want you skin tight, close like denim Come on, love me right When it's sending, I'll be fine I got your body close to mine Now, before I show you this cupboard, remember we are judgment-free friends. I am not proud that I let it get this out of hand, but I promise you it's been way worse and I can guarantee by next week it's back to the same condition. I try not to be hard on myself because I don't have any other storage areas other than the loft and boy, that's an area that needs a huge declutter but don't worry, I'll take you along with me. I have a shed which is being used by my son for his fishing hobby and trust me, I would rather it was all at the bottom of the garden as far away from the house as possible. It stinks. I also have a garage. My husband is a bike technician so the garage is his man cave and workshop space. My kitchen is so small And it has about five cupboards. So this cupboard is really the only space that I have for the overflow items. In here, I have tried to implement a storage system the best I can. Well, with the space I've got. I've set up a charging station for the hoover, the lawnmower and the drill batteries. You'll also see that I have a chest freezer that takes up most of the space but this is the only placement I can have it otherwise you can't open the 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 lid or access the space or the shelving if you need somebody you know I'm the one for you I won't tell no
Thank the Lord I'm finally finished. I've taken a lot of miscellaneous items out that really need to go back to the garage, but ended up in here because I'm too lazy. You'll notice when I flip you around in a minute that the living room set out has completely changed. I was actually doing this in between filming the decluttering for you guys. Um, so here are my piles. I have a donate pile. Don't worry. Um, I have a friend who's organizing their kitchen and can use all of these storage containers. And my garage pile. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You are amazing. If you're not subscribed, please do. It helps my channel grow and be noticed. If you've enjoyed the content that I've shared with you today, hit that like button and I will see you all next Saturday. Have a wonderful weekend. Much love.